Hello, so uh, this is a demonstration of a program called uh, Character Definition um, or Shardef um, for the Coleco Adam computer which will help you define um, graphic characters um, on the Atom uh, which is very useful for programming. Um, this program runs under CPM and was uh, developed using Turbo Pascal 3 with uh, the bitmap graphic extensions and the Adam add uh, 40 column text editor. So to start it, um, it's uh, currently on the B drive and it's called Shardef. It's completely keyboard controlled for ease of use. So it'll take a few seconds to load. It's a fairly large program, especially with the extensions enabled. Um, one thing you'll notice is that um, it draws fairly slowly and that's because I am using the 42 column text uh, display um, when displaying text um, instead of the standard 32 column graphic mode um, and that's a much slower. However, it looks much better and uh, it's more compact and I have a lot more flexibility as to placement. So speed is not an issue with this program so that's uh, that's why it seems to draw so slowly. In any case, so this is the main program and uh, what you have here is uh, two grids so you can program uh, two characters at a time and the program has an allowance for up to 98 different characters which we can you can design and save to disk and load later on so essentially create a library of graphic characters which you can use for a variety of programs and the way this works is basically you move the cursor around the grid using the arrow keys and uh, you can press the space bar so let's make uh, something um, if you change your mind you can press the space bar again and then it uh, it unfills um, or clears the cell. Um, so let's say we want to make uh, you know some kind of an L here. Okay. So um, if you press enter, what the program does is basically display the uh, code for that character over here. That's the hexadecimal code which you will need to use in uh, Turbo Pascal um, or for uh, even basic programs, smart basic programs on the Coleco Atom or any other language for that matter where you need to define graphic characters. Um, these two numbers here uh, simply indicate which um, graphic character uh, is currently the, uh, the default. Um, this is important for um, essentially clearing uh, the, uh, the, uh, the graphic uh, character or for assigning a title. The way you assign a title is you make sure that the graphic character you want is uh, is uh, highlighted here and then you press the A key and then at the bottom here you see uh, legend basically just be, type in anything you want let's call this the first character so I'll call it first and uh, it'll appear here so that there's a label now associated with that character uh, we can move on to that other character let's draw something different here uh, I'm not uh, being very creative, but <laughs> um, let's just say some kind of square here. And um, so I want to assign a label to that one too, so I need to make sure that I switch the focus to that second character. And to that I just press the 2 key. To go back to the first one I just press the 1 key. So with the 2 key that gets highlighted and now I can label it pressing the assign key again. Let's call it second very imaginatively. And uh, now that's that. So nothing really terribly uh, uh, great here. Oh, we need to press enter again to assign the code for that uh, character. Um, and uh, there you go. So when you press enter, it actually assigns codes for both characters. That's why it's a bit slower for the second character um, to show up. But eventually it gets there. Um, if you want to clear one of the uh, characters, say you just highlight the one you want, pressing one or two. Let's say you want to clear uh, number one, and you just press the C key, and that basically will just clear that one and adjust the code accordingly. Um, so why don't we just put uh, put back another character here? Let's say let's make a proper L. Or 
corner. That could be a corner for something you're trying to draw on the screen. So that sets it up that way. So um, as far as these numbers here, these indicate the slot number for that character. There are 98 slots and so each screen will show you the f uh, two characters at a time. Um, and so um, you can move uh, forward and backward in the slots by using the uh, J and K keys. J moves you backward and K moves you forward. Here we're already at the first one, so let's say we want to move to uh, characters 3 and 4, just press the K key and basically that will load up uh, the uh, third and fourth uh, characters. Currently there's really nothing in them, so they're not defined, so it's just uh, zeros all across and no legend. Suppose I want to move to, um, say, the uh, slot number 98, the last slot, I press the G key, and then I get a slot number request, just type in 98, and enter, and it will basically just go ahead and take me to that last slot. Again, there is nothing in this slot, um, so uh, we can go ahead and uh, put in something in there. So let's see here. What do we want to do? Um, let's say, let's make some kind of uh, just whatever your you fancy would work. And let's do an, a slash over here. enter and that will show you uh, what the codes are for these characters. As well on the side here is simply the representation of how the character will look when you display it um, in a program. So now we've defined these characters we can go back uh, to slot 1 uh, by pressing the G key again uh, to go to and then slot number would we'll put in slot number 1 um, and uh, there we go. We're back to uh, slot number 1 and it shows one and two with a legend if there is one associated with that, and it'll update the the key code, the character code. And um, essentially, that's uh, that's the entirety of the program. So you have 98 slots. That's a lot of graphic characters. So it will help you build a specific library for a program that your your game or display program you're trying to create or simply just for later use. So in order to do that you have to save them uh, to disk and then you can recall them later. So let's save what we created here. So press the S key and it's going to ask me for a file name and that can be anything up to 10 characters. Let's call it test. Um, and it will save to the default drive where you started the program. So this is the B drive here. We are in the B drive so that's where it's going to save it to. It says saving and that's pretty much done. Um, I should mention that it saves in pure ASCII text files so that will help you um, view the file uh, outside of the program, print it um, or even um, load it up uh, into a program you create yourself so that you don't have to type the uh, codes uh, manually. So to exit the program we press the escape key and that will take us out back to CPM. Um, so if we do a directory here, and we should see a, a, pro, a, a file called test, which is exactly what it is. Um, by the way, if you look at this directory, you see a, a couple of uh, source files, Pascal source files, chardef and chardef1. Um, these are basically two, uh, two source files that are uh, essentially uh, linked together in the compilation process. The chardef.com is the actual program, and then these files, chardef.000001, etc., up to 005, are essentially overlay files because the program is too large to fit in uh, memory all by itself, so uh, it's broken up and only the parts that are needed are loaded into memory. Um, so let's uh, quickly take a look at uh, t the uh, test program and you'll see that it's essentially just a, a bunch of, uh, of, uh, of ASCII characters and um, the, the first line is the code and underneath if there is a, a legend it'll be written down here so you can also uh, when you print it or when you view it um, you can view you can find out what uh, each code represents because really a bunch of numbers is not very representative. 
So if we go back into Shardev and um, we'll try to load that program, you'll see that um, it basically will load it up and in the proper slots. Um, just give it a second here. So again, it's a bit slow to start up. Um, so you can you get to exercise uh, uh, a little patience here. All right, so here we are. Okay, so if we press L to load the program, to load a, uh, a file with graphic character definitions in it, just press L and it will ask you for a file name again. And you know, we call it test. It has to match the, uh, the exact um, uh, the capitalization. So um, we call it test, so press enter and it's gonna load it and uh, it will display the characters as we have uh, defined them along with the legend uh, we put in for them. Um, and if we uh, go and uh, see what happens at slot 98 since we defined slot 97 and 98 previously and we'll see that these also are exactly there as we had put them. <coughs> and uh, the codes will adjust accordingly. And that's essentially it. Um, fairly simple to use, but I find it uh, extremely useful for future uh, for future development, uh, particularly games and graphic uh, programs. Um, and uh, you'll find in the video description a link to the Smart Basic forum where you you'll be able to uh, get the uh, the disk image for that program as well as uh, view the source code and uh, ask any questions or leave any comments um, you see fit. Thank you for watching.